To make things even simpler, you no longer have to decide whether to open an instrument track or an instrument in the VST instrument rack, because Instrument Tracks 2.0 support multiple MIDI inputs. So if you opened Halley and Sonic SE2 with the intention of only using a single instrument, let's say a piano, and you decide later that you would rather use multiple sounds on multiple MIDI channels, you can. All you should have to do is add a MIDI track, and it should be ready to go with the appropriate instrument output and the next MIDI channel already selected. Select an instrument in Halley and Sonic SE2 and assign an output. Okay, now here's the cool part. Not only can you save track presets with individual instrument tracks, but if I select all of the tracks and right click, I can choose to save all of these tracks as a track preset for easy retrieval later. Think of the setups that you use most often for any particular type of production and start making some presets today. Unless you're getting paid by the hour, you're going to love saving time with this great new way of handling your instruments in Cubase. Instrument Tracks 2.0 Easy, fast, organized, and helpful. Only in Cubase 7.5. New in Cubase 7.5 is the sweet merger of instrument track and instrument rack behavior into one new, cohesive, easy to understand interface. Instrument Tracks 2.0 introduces new functionality at the track level without having to go into the VST instrument rack. For example, you can now add multiple audio outputs from the project page under an instrument track by clicking here and choosing which outputs are to be activated. Before, this could only be achieved after adding an instrument in the VST Instruments window. But that's not all there is to Instrument Tracks 2.0. You can also save the associated tracks and settings as a track preset and recall it at a later time. It's easier to just demonstrate, so I'm going to break it down for you. Add an instrument track in the project page. I'm going to choose the new Groove Agent SE4 and load up a kit. Add some output channels to the instrument track in the project page. Now in Groove Agent, assign some of the sounds to the different outputs. Once you're done, Tap the pads and you can clearly see that the outputs of Groove Agent now have individual channels on the mix console for individual control. You'll notice that the first channel in the mixer is labeled Groove Agent and the others are labeled as Out2, Out3, Out4, and so on. You can always rename your channels according to the output choices you've made. Now add some channel strip or insert effects or EQs to the individual drum channels. And now for good measure, let's go back to the project page and add Beat Designer as a MIDI insert to Groove Agent. Now if we save this instrument track preset, when we reopen it, it will have all the individual outs the beat designer on the input, and the individual effects I applied to the multi-outs. Now from a blank project, open the track preset we just created. So there it all is. The multi-outputs for Groove Agent, the beat designer MIDI insert on the project page, and the channel strip modules and insert effects in the mix console. All loaded up with one simple instrument track preset. Beautiful. So we've already covered the fact that instrument tracks now behave much like instruments in the VST Instruments Rack, in that you can assign multiple audio outs and handle multiple MIDI ins. But what's extra cool is that when you add an instrument track on the project page, you are simultaneously putting that instrument into a slot in the new VST Instrument Rack. Likewise, now when you add an instrument to the Instrument Rack, a track will appear in the project page. You can see that the track instruments and rack instrument are each in their own section of the VST instrument rack, separated by a dividing line. Not only does it look nice and tidy with the newly designed graphic user interface, but you can now see all of the instruments you're using, regardless of how you set them up, all in one rack, all in one convenient view. Now in earlier versions that might not have been such a big deal, 
but with the introduction of VSTi Quick Controls for each instrument in the rack, you can do quite a bit from this one single view. Now if you wanted to automate this particular control for Halley and Sonic SE2, you can right click on it and select to show this Quick Controls automation track and edit it just like any other controller data. For rack instruments, you can assign a control to a Quick Control slot and also learn the individual continuous controller while you're there by selecting Learn CC and tweaking a knob on your controller. And the Quick Control will affect the instrument control as well. Also, if you look under the Remote Devices and VST Quick Control settings in the device setup, you will find the new, dedicated Remote Assign page for the VST Quick Controls. Like Track Quick Controls and Generic Remote, this is an independent area. That means that you can assign additional remote controls only for the VST Quick Controls. So there you have it, the new 2.0 versions of the instrument rack and instrument tracks, now fused together in perfect harmony only in Cubase 7.5.